Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Today I am back with new video called as basics Those who have taken admission in MPC or BIPC of first year or in 11th class of science stream For them this video is amazing, this video will be very very useful in short So in physics there are mainly two parts One part is called as conceptual or theoretical part The another part is derivative part to understand this conceptual and theoretical part as well as this derivative part we require basics of physics which you have already learned at your school level as well as basics of mathematics which you have learned at your school level so today in this video i will discuss the basics of physics as well as the basics of maths let us begin so the first part which i am going to discuss is basics of physics so in basics of physics the most important role is played by physical quantities what are physical quantities very simple all measurable quantities are called as physical quantities which we can measure either by any formula or by any device or by any instrument that type of quantity is called as physical quantity length we can measure time we can measure mass we can measure force we can measure so any measurable quantity is called as physical quantity each and every physical quantity will have some symbol as well as general formula so the, here i have given some table of uh, physical quantities along with their symbol and general formula have a look and take a screenshot the first one is velocity velocity general formula is displacement by time speed speed general formula is distance by time acceleration acceleration general formula is velocity by time force force general formula is mass into acceleration work work general formula is force into displacement power power general formula is work by time torque torque is denoted by a greek symbol called as tau general formula is force into perpendicular distance okay please have a look so next formula is our kinetic energy the formula is half m v square in, in which m is mass and v, v is velocity. Potential energy denoted by p dot e. The formula is m g h where m is mass, g is acceleration due to gravity and h is the height or change in position. Area, area of any uh, what you can say standard figure whether it is square, whether it is rectangle, whether, whether it is circle. Always area of any body contains two types of length r square length into breadth etc etc so general formula of area will come out as length into breadth also in physics this length into breadth can be written as l square then you have volume the volume general formula is length into breadth into height in this b is breadth h is height in physics this length into breadth into height can also be written as l cube because all these three are one kind of length only then you have pressure pressure general formula is force by area Density, density is denoted by D or a Greek symbol rho. The formula is mass by volume. Then you have two special kind of forces whenever the bodies will rotate around any axis or the bodies will move on any, on any curved path. Two types of special forces, imaginary forces will come into picture that is centrifugal, centripetal force and centrifugal fugal force. Centripetal force will move the body towards the center and centrifugal force will move the body away from the center of a rotational motion. The formula for both is same m velocity square by radius, m v square by r, both will be same in magnitude. Last but not the least, the, the, the last and most important physical quantity is momentum. It is denoted by small p, the formula is mass into velocity. Please take a screenshot. So the next part is equations of motion. In all chapters we use these equations of motion, we use these systems of units, we use this SI system of units. So what are they? Let us revise it, already you have studied. There are three equations of motion. The first one is V is equal to U plus A D in which V is final velocity and U is initial velocity. A is acceleration and T is time. The second equation of motion is S is equal to U T plus half a T square. Yes is displacement or sometimes it is taken as distance also u initial velocity t time half a t square acceleration and time square final velocity square this is equation of motion number 3 d square minus u square is equal to 2 a s final velocity initial velocity acceleration and distance 
coming to systems of units very very important in physics you have to solve numerical problems so for solving numerical problems you have to attach unit to the numbers so we require these two systems of units the first basic table is three systems of units are given in this cds system of unit mks system of unit fps system of unit in which three fundamental physical quantities units are given the length unit length unit in cds system is centimeter mass unit in cds system is gram time unit in cds system is second see by the shortcut you can understand the uh, indication c stands for centimeter g stands for gram s stands for second similarly the second system is mks system m stands for meter so for length mks unit is meter denoted by small m for mass mks unit is kilogram denoted by kg for time the mks unit is second denoted by s similarly there is fps unit not used much but it is also there in systems of units fps stands for foot pound and second last but not the least there is one international system of units followed overall in the world so that contains mainly seven physical quantities length mass time current temperature amount of substance luminous intensity let us see their units the length unit in si system of units this is actually si system of units okay so in in si system of units the length unit is denoted by m meter mass unit is denoted by kilogram time unit is denoted by second current electricity unit is denoted by ampere named after the scientist we use symbol symbol for ampere as a temperature thermodynamic temperature we use the unit as kelvin denoted by k amount of substance it is denoted by mole luminous intensity this is a physical quantity related to light its unit is candela denoted by c please have a screenshot yeah the next part is conversions in physics we require to convert the numbers we we require to convert the number from one system of unit to another system of unit so for that you must understand the direct values if you want to convert 1 cm into meter so you can multiply any number with 10 power minus 2 how we got this one we already know from our school level 1 meter is equal to 100 cm 100 can be written as 10 square if you take this 10 square this side it will be 1 by 10 square meter is equal to 1 cm take this 10 power 2 up it will be 10 power Minus two. So in this way, one centimeter is equal to ten power minus two meter. Okay. Also, we require we 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 have to convert kg into gram and gram into kg. So one gram. If you want to convert gram into kg, one gram will be multiplied by ten power minus three kg. Why? Because one kg is equal to thousand grams. Thousand can be written as ten power three. If you take this ten power three, the this side it will be one power one by ten power three kg. Is equal to one gram. Ten power three. If you take up, it will be ten power minus three kg. So in this way, one gram is equal to ten power minus three kg. Okay. Similarly, you have one hour is equal to thirty six hundred seconds. How? One hour contains sixty minutes, and one minute is equal to sixty seconds. So sixty into sixty. If you do, it will get thirty six hundred seconds. So in this way, one hour should be converted into Seconds, so that will be equal to 3600 seconds. And one second, sometimes you have to convert it into minute. If you want to give the answer in minutes, so in place of second, you have to multiply the number with 1 by 60. So one second is equal to 1 by 60 minute. Why? Because in one minute there will be 60 seconds. Similarly, you have to multiply some prefixes. In problems, you will get some number into milli, some number into kilo, some number into microns, some number into mega. So these are called as prefixes. you have to convert this milli micro nano etc into the required system of units so 1 milli in place of 1 milli what you will multiply you will multiply 10 power minus 3 to that number 1 micro 1 micro is equal to how much value 10 power minus 6 1 nano 10 power minus 9 1 kilo 10 power 3 1 mega is equal to 10 power 6 so these are the most important basics of physics which you require in first year see i have not included many other physical quantities because they will be uh, again repeated in first year so which will not be repeated which you have to use directly those kind of basics i have told of physics hope you have understood in short take down please